Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download the porn. Yuck. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Actually, it is good to know that Frank has a knife. This is almost as good as a set of keys. What the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. Frank must have a reason to keep a police raider on your body. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. I think the doggy likes his bone more. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah blah blah, as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes! Kate Marsh almost killed herself! Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. 
Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. I can tell. But look at everything that's happened the past week. Your life has changed mine, and that's not shit. I'd really love to believe that. I'd like to believe in something after what's happened. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first! You know the rules, Dad! Max, tell him! Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William can't is here. Can't, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crimes. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Breakfast. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. I love oh, William like, like he was in my eggs? own family. Don't you dare I won't chef. let him die today. Right. Like you're the real I won't. I Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time unless I change it. Joyce loves William so much. Man, I remember Chloe reading this, but not after today. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. I know they never took that big vacation. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you.
I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the... Hello? Hey, honey. Score! Fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't... I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Going to be wet and cold every day. But Never it's like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. Once. I know. Sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' California potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no. This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe.
Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor!
Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. 
I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh... Can you, can you bring me some water? <laughs> 